Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Uh, happy anniversary, it's been one year since the Call of Dragons game came out and it's a pretty unique um, one year with, simply because I got fall in love with this game and I'm playing it as a free-to-play player. As you can see, I have uh, not even unlocked Lilia and for this one year anniversary we are getting a lot of events from the developers of the game which I'm pretty excited and let's check uh, one by one which kind of events we are getting of course first event is sign-in souvenirs basically we are getting free rewards uh, just simply logging into the game every day uh, every single day we're gonna get some unique rewards and uh, like in my opinion uh, gold keys and un universal artifact keys are amazing but the bet best reward out of here is of course uh, gems 1000 gems especially for free to play player uh, gems are like main currency for us that's why i always suggest to collect gems and don't spend in spend it on anything like especially i would recommend to spending gems for the heroes you wish on your main legions for example i'm marksman and i'm collecting my gems to unlock the new marksman heroes which we will get in the future great event you are not spending anything you are just playing the game and you are getting some rewards carnival party which has a much better variety of rewards and of course we are getting new city theme which is gonna be called palace of dreams uh, let's check what kind of theme it is um, we are getting uh, magic unit hp uh, plus five percent and cavalry unit hp minus five percent that's a magic units uh, city theme uh, which i'm not sure how important it is to have hp on your uh, damage dealer legion but at least the city theme looks amazing some balloons some uh, great colors and it's always great to see new and new content and new and new stuff uh, introduced in the game uh, i wish we had more and more more and more city themes and we are getting it uh, and i'm pretty happy about it the next event we are having is magical memories it's basically you will have a small journal small book how you spend your uh, one year in the game as you already know i have been playing as a spring warden's fraction uh, i have spent a lot of time online in this game that's why i created this channel to share my experience and share my ideas to you guys uh, the next uh, stage is like how much resources I have gathered and as a free-to-play player uh, gathering resources are one of the most important aspects. That's the gem amounts which I got in the game um, by gathering or by signing events or by helping my by from the help of my alliance members who have been purchasing some bundles. Phoenix Eye have been the most um, used artifact for me simply because um, that's the only artifact, legendary artifact I have level 2. Uh, like Heart Piercer was one my first uh, ever artifact, that's why it's here. Uh, and of course, my most used hero has been Nico. Uh, this is the stage when uh, how much like um, Magma Divorce I have uh, killed. Snow Peacock was most captured warped. It's easy to understand. I'm a marksman player. The next stage is marksman units made you most of your legions. See, like this, how much I fought. Uh, that's uh, like uh, how much merits I have got gained uh, like from the battle and the next stage that's a legion I have been like uh, alliance I have been last season Bark Park is my friend in this game and it's like pretty cool that I can see his name and I'm sure he will be happy uh, that he is my number one friend in this game which I'm pretty happy about it the second stage is like this is a great event a uh, great journal like almost every single uh, kingdom builder game has something like this i was expecting that i would get uh, this journal uh, of course whenever you're gonna check it the uh, first time you will get some amount of gems whenever we're gonna finish the journal and great thing to like uh, uncover and look back at your uh, journey from the day one it's a great thing i hope we're gonna have it on a second year too uh, we're gonna exit and we're gonna check the lucky flip that's unique uh, event which we have never got uh, you can uh, like choose the prize you want to get mostly and i chose the confetti cannon uh, simply because with the confettis i will be able to unlock city themes and like frames uh, for these events that's why i suggest you to choose the confetti 
out of like out of confetti there is great cool uh, rewards such as uh, um, speed ups uh, some keys and of course when you're gonna progress throughout this lucky flip you will get a levels i'm currently level one which simply because i have not done it before and like i'm sure as your level is going up you will get better and better rewards which is great um, well, like we wanted to have more events in this game and we are getting it that's why we need to be thankful for developers because we can th see that they are working on the game uh, the caravan escort is most unique event i have seen in call of dragons which i like a lot it's simply the same caravan escort like you have been doing with your alliance members but this time it's it's a solo mission you are alone with your like four or five legions and you can you can simply select the difficulties and the difficulties matter because uh, progressing through difficulties you are getting better and better rewards such as like legendary tokens uh, this is like universal tokens which is cool and of course some flip tokens which we're gonna be doing with a lucky flip uh, regarding like difficulties you will be able to choose how how hard it will be for you to uh, progress through the caravan rider raid is simply getting more and more darkling raiders uh, during the event uh, sand raider like your enemies are included like more uh, sand lizards depending how much you will be able to click on the uh, difficulty uh, thick skin is like dark creatures gain uh, percentage defense, which is pretty rough. Uh, uh, swift assault, uh, dark creatures gain 10% movement speed. I think this will be always on maximum because we generally don't care about their movement speed because we are going to uh, defeat them. Uh, defiling attack, um, when dark creatures deal damage to the damaged, damaged legion, gains one stack of defilement, max stacks for 10 seconds. Uh, simply uh, defilement is defense minus percentage and healing received uh, i think like uh, most of the people will go like swift assault to the maximum and defiling attack to the maximum uh, this one i'm not sure if it will be on the maximum difficulty but like try yourself now, this event is free you can try it anytime you want and that's the most beauty about this event that you are not going to rush it you can simply do it one by one uh, check it how much uh, stronger these um, like uh, raiders and dark riders will be and uh, in the end i'm i'm pretty sure everybody will be able to get these rewards which will like the maximum uh, difficulty is level 24 or higher uh, great event and so far this is a great day for call of dragons simply because we have another like uh, behemoth raids we have city of the splendor uh, simply just use your speed ups and you're gonna get free events and uh, polymorph trials uh, that's like uh, tech power gain and you're gonna get some uh, universal artifact keys some speed ups generally this is a great day uh, for call of dragons one year anniversary uh, happy one year for the developers and for the players who love this game uh, soon we are getting great heights event which is a great great event uh, like amazing rewards you're gonna get out of this uh, uh, like great heights uh, we're gonna get another uh, city uh, theme which is called the flames of the heaven uh, cavalry unit attack infantry unit hp and marksman unit hp as I'm a marksman player, I, I'm not going to try my absolute best to get this uh, legendary city sim because I'm not playing cavalry at all. I'm a marksman main and I'm, I'm going to get minus HP from this uh, Flames of Heaven. But let's for a moment forget about the attributes and your main legions. Look at this city sim, how great it is. Actually, one of the best city sims I have seen in uh, like any Kingdom Builder game. Um, I think on the top of the building, they'd say like Phoenix. I absolutely love this city theme and I would highly recommend if you have enough uh, uh, like speed ups, enough gems, especially if you are pay to win player, you are 100% going to uh, get this one and you will be pretty happy about it because that looks amazing. So far, I would uh, like try to say how this one year have been for me in this game. Uh, first of all, at first it was a decision for me if I wanted to go as a free-to-play or pay-to-win. Uh, as soon as I decided to showcase how free-to-play players can get fun out of this game, even not spending anything, that was my decision. That's why I did not spend any money in this game. And I'm trying my best to showcase that even if you are not paying, 
you will get a lot of fun. Generally, for me, games are the... For playing games is my main motivation to get as much fun out of this game. Uh, if you are like too much competitive uh, player that you want to be number one, uh, I think being number one is like completely useless in games where you are going to spend the money. Uh, of course, you can satisfy yourself by upgrading some of your favorite uh, heroes, which uh, depending on your playstyle, but generally I think games are made for us to have as much fun out of the game as possible, which I'm having it. I love playing the Call of Dragons for a one whole year. Uh, I think my consecutive logins are pretty close to being one year, 340. Uh, 8 which is pretty great i'm going to play this game for a many many more years i hope we're gonna have much more population in the game much more events much more new heroes which i'm super excited because i'm sure we're gonna going to have more and more beautiful stuff for call of dragons um, thanks for the game developers that they brought this game to us which is amazing the best combat gameplay out of any kingdom builder games which is a uh, upholdable, which is great, which is why we love playing Call of Dragons. This is the events we have currently, which I think they are amazing. I wasn't expecting the events to be so good, but thanks to developers, we are getting a lot of free rewards. Uh, thanks for watching. Share your experience in comment section. Tell me how do you feel about the game after first year. And remember, uh, for every single game, first year is most hard, hardest one to choose the direction of the game, to see how much people you have playing the game, and in general, what kind of game it will be for you. Uh, I love the game. I hope you do uh, as a viewer, as a player. But still, share your opinion. It's always welcome on the channel to share your opinion. But uh, like most important uh, thing is to be respectful to me and for the people who are watching the channel. Thanks for watching. I hope you are enjoying the content I'm trying to make. Uh, if you do, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to continue making more content out of this game. Uh, if you have not got these events, uh, be sure that you will get it soon uh, because every single member of this game will be able to enjoy these events. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you are having an amazing day, morning or night, depending whenever you are. I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Bye-bye and good luck.